Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Darren Bland shines in Cowboys Thanksgiving triumph, setting new NFL record. It will be difficult to top Dallas Cowboys defensive back Darren Bland's Thanksgiving. In Thursday's 45-10 victory over the division foe Washington Commanders, Bland not only contributed to the Cowboys' superior defense but also broke an NFL record. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott was lounging on the sidelines with a turkey leg in hand when Darren Bland broke the NFL record. The Cowboys also performed at home as they have all season. They triumphed once more, bringing their winning run at home to 13 games. Except for the 18 consecutive home games the Cowboys won from 1979 to 1981, this is the longest winning streak in team history this season. Dallas destroyed the Commanders 45-10 on Thanksgiving Day, scoring 25 points in the fourth quarter. The Commanders dropped to 4-8 as the Ron Rivera watch got underway, while the Cowboys advanced to 8-3. At AT&T Stadium, Dallas has defeated the Jets, Patriots, Rams, Giants, and Commanders 205-60. This season, they have not trailed in any of their home games. With Rico Dowdle for 15 yards, Brandon Cooks for 31 yards, C.D. Lamb for 15 yards, and Cavanti Turpin for 34 yards, Prescott completed his scoring plays with a 331-yard pass that resulted in four touchdowns. His passer rating was 142.1 and he ranked 22 out of 32. Lamb caught four catches for 53 yards, and Cooks caught four for 72 yards. For the seventh time this season, Bland scored the winning touchdown by recovering an interception. Since last week, he had shared the NFL record for most pick sixes, 63 yards, with Eric Allen, 1993, Ken Houston, 1971, and Jim Kearney, 1972. This season, he has scored touchdowns against Daniel Jones for 22 yards, Mac Jones for 54 yards, Matthew Stafford for 30 yards, and Bryce Young for 30 yards. His victory against Young came last week. When Bland leapt for a pass meant for Jahan Dotson, Sam Howell, Terry McLaurin, and Brian Robinson had chances to stop him from getting into the end zone. Curtis Samuel caught nine catches for 100 yards, while Howell completed 28 of 44 passes for 300 yards and the touchdown. With a mini-buy approaching, the focus now will be on whether Josh Harris, the new owner, will try to fire Rivera on Black Friday. During his tenure in Washington, Rivera is 26-35-1. The Washington Commanders have a difficult assignment when they host the Miami Dolphins on Sunday, December 3. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys open Week 13 at home against the Seattle Seahawks. Cowboys' Dak Prescott reveals idea behind turkey legs in Salvation Army Bucket. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys are having a lot of fun these days. Playing well and winning, which do not always go hand in hand, tends to have that effect. They made the most out of their Thanksgiving afternoon game versus the visiting Washington Commanders, capping off a 45-10 annihilation with some turkey legs. No, they were not gifted to the team after the victory. The Cowboys hid them in the Salvation Army bucket and waited for the right opportunity to engage in some turkey day shenanigans. A Cavanti Turpin fourth quarter touchdown signaled to the players that it was time to eat. Prescott, Turpin and a few others took out the stashed food from the bucket. After the game, the veteran quarterback explained how this unusual plan came together. Team effort, team idea, he said, per Nikki Jabvala of The Athletic. We talked about as probably a two-, three-day-long process of whether it'd be a 15-yard penalty and whether coach, Mike McCarthy, would accept it, I actually go talk to coach before every game and sure enough I caught him talking to, owner Jerry Jones, and so I mentioned it. Of course, Jerry liked it so yeah. After Prescott got approval, it was a just matter of when to retrieve the turkey legs. He believed it could only happen once Dallas secured a comfortable lead late in the game. The two-time Pro Bowl selection considered busting out the Thanksgiving celebration when he found C.D. Lamb for a 15-yard touchdown but opted to wait for the Turpin score. Some people will criticize the Cowboys for being too brazen, they chomped on the turkey from the sidelines before time expired, especially considering they were playing a subpar team. Though, perhaps a little amusement during the holiday season should be encouraged. Cowboys' Jerry Jones breaks silence on rumored Shaq Leonard interest. Shaq Leonard was just supposed to be coming off the bench or on the inactive list for the Indianapolis Colts. 
but the tone and mind of the team seemingly changed less than two days later. He was waived and now other teams are trying to get the insanely talented linebacker on their squad. The Dallas Cowboys might need some more backup for Micah Parsons, which is why rumors are flying around about a possible acquisition. Jerry Jones finally addressed these murmurs and it may look good for the Dak Prescott-led squad via John Machota of The Athletic. I don't want to imply one way or the other with Leonard was the tight-lipped statement that Jerry Jones gave about picking up Shaq Leonard after getting waived by the Colts. He also posits that the Cowboys linebackers are already good but would not be against the idea of getting Leonard. There could be a myriad of reasons as to why they have not done the deal yet. But, his addition would impact the league a lot. Dak Prescott will get to outgun other quarterbacks better with Leonard and Micah Parsons keeping weapons at bay. Leonard still puts up serviceable numbers and is still at a young age. In his last outing against the New England Patriots, Maniac put up two solo tackles and nine assisted takedowns. This increased his season totals to 65 combined tackles, with 34 of them just him violently putting down an opponent. With other great defenders in the Cowboys' rotation, he will surely thrive. Just days after being released from the Indianapolis Colts, linebacker Shaquille Leonard is already attracting the attention of some NFL teams. According to a publication by Diana Rossini, from The Athletic, this Thursday, 23, the Philadelphia Eagles, Dallas Cowboys and Minnesota Vikings are among the teams that collect information on the defender. After leaving the waiver list this Wednesday, 22, the athlete is free to sign with any team. The franchise that reaches a deal with Leonard will assume his $6.1 million base salary for the remainder of the 2023 season, plus a $6.5 million injury guarantee for 2024. A second-round selection in the 2018 draft by Indianapolis, Leonard has already been nominated for both the Pro Bowl and the league's All-Pro three times during his career, being considered one of the best LBs in the NFL. However, he was losing space with the Colts after suffering a back injury that ruled him out of the 2022 season. And you fan, what do you think of the Shaq Leonard situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.